Welcome, 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 Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. This is your love reading for the month of March. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are dealing with something or someone that is from another country. Um, a lot of you could be married or in relationship with someone from another country, or you want to travel to see someone who you're in a relationship with for another country. You could be thinking about this in this period. Then we have the energy of control. I see a lot of control situation is going on. I see truths is coming out about some sort of a control uh, issue that you were controlled by someone in another country. The truth is coming out. People are recognizing that there was some sort of a controlling issue that some of you could have been in a relationship with someone from another country or another religion and you were controlled by this person. So Pisces, uh, um, Cancers and Scorpion, let's see what is coming up in your reading. So we see justice is in reverse. Okay, whatever is happening in Trinshine, justice is in reverse. It could be um, some sort of a divorce issue. And I see um, the energy of a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Some of you were trying to control a situation against this lady, and this lady stand in her power. I see this is a Capricorn person, or whatever this Capricorn person is, is really standing in their powers, okay? I see um, a, a situation where um, there is someone who was using their powers in the wrong way. This person stood their grounds. It could be a divorce and a lawyer was trying to um, create some sort of an issue. Whoever this lady is, I see she's standing in your power. Um, some of you could be in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. This person is standing in her power and she's not moving, okay? I see a lot of you, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, are worried um, because people are going to be recognizing that some of you try to play this person. Yes, some of you try to play this person. I play this person out of something or try to play this person. This person is standing their powers and is not letting go. I see for a lot of you, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, you want to move forward, but it's not going to be moving forward because a lawsuit is going on. And a lot of you wanted to escape a situation with a Taurus burger or Capricorn person. I see the Wheel of Fortune is here and a lot of you are going to be recognizing that whoever this Taurus burger or Capricorn person is, is the love of your life. A lot of you are going to be letting go of a Leo because you recognize that a Leo is dishonest and a Leo tried to manipulate you. This Leo is someone from another country who tried to hold on on some of you um, water sign people and try to manipulate you. They recognize that um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that Leo played you big time. So truth is coming out and I see whoever the Capricorn person is, they're standing up for um, injustice and equality. You could be divorcing this Capricorn person. This Capricorn person is recognizing that you were playing them for a very long time. I see whoever this Leo is, uh, I see people in power recognize that a Leo tried to play some sort of a, um, a, a, a play. And uh, I see that they're going to be recognizing who this Leo is. Uh, and I see it's as if uh, someone else in power stood up uh, for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. So it could be this um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person have a lawyer. And this lawyer recognized uh, that there was some sort of an unfair game that was played. A lot of you are going to be recognized that a Leo has manipulated and tried to play you against a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And I see you regret it. You regret it because you recognize um, that this Leo used you and play you like a fiddle. And you're going to be now regretting this. I see this end of this uh, um, whatever this Leo or whoever this person is in another country that was playing you is coming to an end. They recognize that there was some sort of an unfair game. I see um, a lot of you wish that you had not um, work against a Pisces, Cancer, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person because this person recognized that you tried to play them and uh, this person stood their grounds and recognized, I see you regret that you tried to play this person. Um, because this person was aware and, you know, this person have eye insensitive and quality about them and they recognize 
that you water sign people was not being honest and that you try to use them and play them. Um, they have no stand in, uh, people have no stand in their, their powers because, you know, this is a, 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 a situation where a lot of you um, could have been in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and then you met a Leo from another country and this person have played you like a fiddle and now you're recognizing, oh my God, I have played my wife or I have played this, uh, this other person and they were the right one. They were the true one. And I see there is no justice that is going to be coming up because they recognize that this Leo has created a whole lot of problem. I see a lot of you, um, one sign people regrets, regret something that you have done against a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman. You regret this. You regret that you have work against this person. You regret what you have done because they recognize that, um, this person recognized that, um, you, um, um, water sign people have created a whole lot of issue in their lives so by creating a whole lot of problems and I see no justice is here because they recognize that uh, um, a Leo whoever this Leo is there's no justice for this Leo I see that they're standing up and choosing the side of uh, the Capricorn person because they recognize how unfairly a Leo have created a whole lot of problems so Truths are now revealed. A lot of truths are now revealed. And a lot of you water sign people are going to be recognizing that whoever this Leo is and whatever has transpired between you and this Leo, a lot of you regret ever connected to a Leo and ever uh, be um, a part of a Leo life because you recognize that this Leo had played you and create a whole lot of issues around you justice is is in the reverse and i see a lot of you pisces uh, a lot of you um pisces cancer and scorpion recognize that jesus i you know this capricorn person is the love of my life uh, um you know some of you are going to be i like you um some of you are going to be recognizing wow and it's going to be trying to flirt with a taurus virgo or capricorn person it is coming up as a capricorn a lot of you are going to be wanting to flirt with a capricorn because you recognize that the leo is the one that was being very dishonest and you are like going back and say hey I, I'm sorry. I really care about you. I really like you. I didn't recognize what was happening. Um, this Leo really played me. Okay. Then I see the golden mirror. Self absorbency, a narcissist, one sided relationship. This is how some of you are going to be ending some sort of a narcissistic relationship that you were in, that the relationship was just based on one side. And a lot of you are going to be ending um, this sort of a narcissistic relationship that you were in uh, with someone. Lightning moments, sudden changes, shocking news, sudden epiphany of eldering transformation a lot of you um are going to be recognizing that some sort of unexpected um situation is going to be transpiring a huge tower moment is going to be coming down in your relationship because some sort of a un, um unknown news information is going to be coming in the lightning strikes and changes is going to be happening in your relationship then we see uh, that a lot of you recognize that you were in a karmatic relationship with a Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. You're recognizing that. And a lot of you women, to, um, a lot of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, you're going to be recognizing that um, it is uh, someone who you have known from past lifetime. Okay? That this person that you have met uh, is someone you have known in a past lifetime. And you're going to be re recognizing Wow, I, I feel as if I've known this person for a very, very long time. Truths are going to be coming out. Engagement. A lot of you are going to be um, regretting that you didn't get engaged or regretting that you didn't marry to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. A lot of you wish and hope that you had engaged or get married to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person because you recognize now that this was the love of your life. So a whole lot of you um, 
Pisces, Cancer and Scorpion people are now regretting that you didn't get engaged or have some sort of a partnership or union with this person because you recognize that and this is someone who you care about. Cupid, Cupid, I see a lot of you new love is coming in. Some sort of a surprise invitation is coming in. New love is coming in. A lot of you are going to be flirting. Um, so I see a lot of new love is, uh, new love is open. A lot of you are getting out of control relationship and you are finding new love. Cupid is here and is helping you guys out. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Leo masks themselves. Alia had a mask up. Whoever is in a relationship is going to be recognizing that Alia had lied and have a mask up and I'd play you like a fiddle. Play you like a fiddle. So a lot of you recognize that Alia from out another uh, country, that Leo was not born in the same country as you, had played you like a fiddle and that this Leo have had a mask up and was lying. Uh, a whole lot of you are going to be recognizing that Leo stabbed you in your back. There is going to be um, an end, an end that is going to be coming up. Um, they're going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a lies, deceptiveness that was played. And an end is coming up. And I see a lot of you are recognizing that Leo really got you in a whole lot of problem. And Leo stabbed you in your back. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing that this Leo had used you. And you are now recognizing Jesus. Um, um, I was stupid. I didn't even see what this person was doing. And I see a, a, um, a whole lot of you um, are going to be recognizing that you were stabbed in your back. And someone was using a mask and used you to do something. And you get in some really, really serious, serious problem. Wow. A lot of you are going to be... Um, decided to marry or ask a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person your ends in marriage. I like you. A lot of you uh, is looking for stability. And I see a lot of you um, could be divorcing um, a, a Libran or a lot of you um, who are in a relationship with a Libran um, is looking for some sort of a stability. But some of you are going to be leaving this Libran or this um, um, Aquarian or this Libran and go for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person because you recognize um, that the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is the one that uh, your heart goes out for. And if you are divorcing a um, Aquarian or a Libran, you're going to be going towards the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person because you're going to be recognizing that is the person that I care for. The golden mirror absorbs a lot of you scorpions are going to be recognizing something about a Libran. A lot of you scorpions is going to be recognizing that, you know, this Libran, I don't know if I, I want to move forward with this Libran. This Libran is self-absorbing and narcissistic. Okay, this Libran is in a one-sided relationship. So a lot of you, Scorpion, is going to be getting away from a Libran and recognizing how self-absorbed this person is and how this person has created a whole lot of drama and a whole lot of problems in your life. A whole lot of drama and a whole lot of problems in your life. Then we see the lightning moment. So whoever is in a relationship with a Capricorn, uh, Libran and a um, Aries, I see some sort of a lightning moment where I see that this could end up in a divorce. So if you are in a relationship with a Capricorn or um, a Libran or a Aries, a lot of you are going to be living, leaving a Libran and an Aries and go for a Capricorn. Okay. So let's say you had, you are seeing three people, a Libran, a Aries, and a Capricorn, you're going to be dropping the, the two and take the Capricorn. So this is going to be good. So I see Tower Moment is coming down um, for a um, for a Libran and a Aries. Whatever is transpiring is like the Tower Bolt. Um, they recognize that there was some sort of a... You, you recognize that, hey, um, they found out about each other. And I see you're going to be choosing for the Capricorn. Karmatic relationships, a lot of you 
Pisces and Cancers are going to be recognizing that you're in a karmatic relationship. A lot of you, Pisces and Cancers is going to be recognizing you're really in a karmatic relationship. You're going to be recognizing this. Then I see a lot of you are going to be successful. Um, some sort of a new contract is going to be um, where you're going to be deciding to um, get married or ask the ends of marriage to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. A lot of you, and you're going to be recognizing that is the person I was meant to be with. So a lot of you cancers are going to be um, asking the ends of a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. All right, you're finally going to be opening up and asking the ends of this person. Then I see Cupid, I see a Sagittarian is going to be coming in. A Sagittarian, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian and a Libran is in love with each other. Somehow, this energy of Cupid is coming in where um, a lot of you, whoever the Sagittarian is uh, that is in your life, you're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian is uh, um, in love with a Libran. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing that... Um, you know, they, they, they fell in love with each other. And I see a lot, a lot, a lot of you are thinking whether or not, you know, you want to, uh, you regret this. A lot of you regret this. Okay. Um, you really regret this. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you really, really regret this. Whatever is um, happening, whatever is transpiring, you regret this. Okay. Then we see that uh, you Pisces and Cancers, Pisces and Cancers is going to be recognizing that a Gemini was wearing a mask. You're going to be recognizing that this Gemini was wearing a mask, that this Gemini was full of themselves and was not honest. So a lot of you who was in a relationship, um, you Pisces and uh, uh, Cancers who was in a relationship with a Gemini, you're going to be recognizing this person had a mask up and was wearing a mask. You really never recognize who this person is, okay? Who stabbed you in your back? An Aquarian and a, 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 a Aries. A huge explosive. Whoever is in a relationship with an Aquarian and an Aries, you're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian and an Aries have stabbed you in your back. An Aquarian and an Aries have stabbed you in your back. So be aware of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I do love you. It is a beautiful month of with love. You're going to be finding out a lot of information. I want to say namaste until next time.